What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to today's video, which is on Star Wars X-Wing Isard's Revenge. This book is uh, written by Michael A. Stackpole, and it was published by Bantam Spectra in April 13th, 1999, and it takes place nine years after the Battle of Yavin. This is the eighth book in the X-Wing series, and the fifth one written by Michael A. Stackpole. If you like these book reviews, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more. And there will be spoilers for this uh, book. Dramatis Personae, Rogue Squadron, Commander Wedge Antilles, a human male from Corellia, Captain Tycho Selchu, a human male from Alderaan, Flight Officer Lear Zatok, a Quarren female from Mon Calamari, Lieutenant Derek Hobby Clivian, human male from Raltir, Lieutenant Wes Jansen, human male from Tanab, Lieutenant Gavin Darklighter, a human male from Tatooine, Lieutenant Mindonos, a human male from Corellia, Lieutenant Kijin Slee, an Isori male from Isor, Lieutenant Corin Horn, a human male from Corellia, Lieutenant Uril Quirg, a Gand male from Gand, Lieutenant Asir Silar, a Bothan female from Bothawi, Flight Officer Eniri Forge, a human female from Kessel, Lieutenant Noara Ven, a Twi'lek male from Ryloth, Support Staff, Gate, Wedge's R5 unit, Whistler, Corrin's R2 unit, New Republic Military, Admiral Akbar, a Mon Calamari male from Mon Calamari, Colonel Cap Dendo, a Deveronian male from Deveron. Captain Page, human male from Coralag. New Republic Intelligence, General Aaron Kraken, human male from Contrum. Ayala Wasiri, human female from Corellia. Cutric Hegemony Forces, Prince Admiral Delic Krenel, human male from Coralag. Assay Nassard, human female from Coruscant. Others. Booster Tarek, human male from Corellia. Captain of the Errant Adventure, Merix Tarek, human female from Corellia, and Corrin's wife. Isard's Revenge. With Thrawn's death at Bilbringi, the New Republic continues to take on warlords and former Imperials. The current target for Rogue Squadron is Admiral Krennel, who is based in Cutric. The mission starts out simple, but things get complicated when Isain Isard shows up, much to the Rogue's puzzlement. Asard uses the Lusankia prisoners as bait for Rogue Squadron. Our heroes have some success against Krennel, but he and Asard deal heavy political blows to the New Republic, which causes issues. Ayala and Merax investigate clues which lead them to discovering a trap set by Asard for Rogue Squadron, but they are too late to warn the squadron. The Rogues are ambushed by an overwhelming force of TIE fighters, but help comes from an unexpected place, Isain Asard. It turns out the Asard working with Krennel is in fact a clone. The real Asard makes a deal with Wedge, being for aid in taking down Krennel. She wants amnesty for all her past crimes. Wedge has little choice but to agree. To the galaxy, Rogue Squadron is dead, but when Whistler and Gate escape Isard's base and find Merax, she knows otherwise. And the New Republic is told by Wedge, via message from Whistler, to attack Krennel. Of course, during the final battle, Isard betrays the rogues. Corin saves the Lusankia prisoners, including General Dodonna. All is not lost, as Akbar came prepared with reinforcements, you know. He thought that that might happen, you know, Isard isn't to be trusted. Krennel and the Asard clone are killed in the battle. The real Asard escapes and tries to steal the newly repaired Lusankia, which the New Republic had captured during the Bacta War. Ayala and Merax found this out and stop her, killing her in the process. The rogues celebrate their victory. Wes is revealed to be alive, as, you know, he was a casualty in the battle, and Asir as well. But she keeps her survival secret to go to Bothawi to change Bothan's lives and stuff like that. What I liked. As always in these X-Wing books, the characters are the highlight. 
they're why you want to read these books. The the characters are great. I mean, yeah, the the plot is usually pretty good too, but the characters I are the reason why I want to read more. And you know, it's a fun book to read. What I didn't like, um, it's not a Nick Pit really. It's just uh, yeah, I wish there was more with these characters. I I enjoy it so much. Well, I would give this book an eight point five out of ten. A, a great book, fun to read. You know, and I, as I said, you know, great characters and all that stuff. I, I really want to read more about these characters. So yeah, I can't get enough of these characters. I can't wait to do another ranking of, uh, characters for the, you know, for Star Wars characters, because it's going to be very different than the last time I ranked characters. Well, what did you think of this book? Did you like it? Not? Let me know in the comment section down below. Right now, you can watch on the top left, my review of the book seven in the X-Wing series, Solo Command. And on the bottom left, you can watch the Back to War, which is the last Rogue Squadron story, as books five to seven are great squadrons. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.